I don't think I'm addicted, but there are times where I succumb to this love of mine and I go overboard in my purchases. They always say we make shoe contact before eye contact. Sneakers is a way for me to describe myself and to showcase what I love. I collect sneakers because of the meaning behind it. It can be something as simple as impoverished designer who made it big, or it could be a representation of a celebrity athlete's mother. So these little stories go a long way for me, and if I can own a piece of this story, it makes it a little bit more special to me. A lot of people say, buy what you like, but sometimes what you like is what people don't have. I find myself buying sneakers that are very rare, maybe one in a hundred pairs in the world. And if I can own one of these hundred pairs in Singapore and put our country on the map, why not? That will always remind me why I fell in love with sneakers in the first place. It's a reminder from where I came from, a time where I couldn't afford sneakers and I had to scrimp and save for that one pair to catch people's eye. My second favourite would be a pair of Nike Air Force Ones and it's the PlayStation Edition. Because I am a huge gaming fan, it has only 169 pairs in the world and all of them were given to either athletes or people from the PlayStation family. And I would dare say in Singapore, there are only three pairs. And to own one of the three, it's amazing. The third and fourth in my all-time favorite list is probably the two collaborations I did as part of Soul Superior. The first one was a pair of Novestas, which is an Eastern European shoe brand. To be invited to do our own shoe is any sneaker hate's dream and we jump on the opportunity, especially since they allowed us to have our logo on the tongue tag and on the insole. Even though it may be a small detail, but it was a huge thing for a sneakerhead like me. Soul Superior can be said to be a gathering of like-minded individuals. We come together, we talk, we discuss, we hang out, and we shop, or even trade sneakers, all in one location, once a year, every year. Our main aim is to bring as many people as we can together to share the love of sneakers. We started in 2013, so 2023 will be our 10-year anniversary, and it has been a long 10 years. Sneakers are getting more popular these days because everyone can dress the same and shoes are usually the defining factor that makes us different. For a sneaker collector like me, I fully believe that sneakers go with everything even though some people may disagree. I have one piece of advice that an old sneakerhead told me. For every five pairs of general shoes you buy from the shop, not buying that five pairs will allow you to buy one rare pair. And that piece of advice actually stuck to me quite a bit. And I try to live by that mantra nowadays. I buy pairs that don't fit mainly because it is just too good a deal to pass up, or they are just that rare, and the opportunity will never come again. So one pair in particular was this pair of skate shoes by Nike, by a Nike signature skater called Eric Coston. And he did this collaboration pair with Kobe Bryant. So it's a very rare blending of basketball and skateboarding. There was a normal pair that was released all around the world, but my pair is quite rare. It is one out of 24 pairs in the world.
order to score some rare shoes in today's sneaker game, you really need to put in a lot of legwork, meaning you need to scan the recesses of the internet, searching far and wide for a good deal or a rare pair. For me personally, my daily affair would be to go on to eBay or resale platforms like Grail, even StockX, to see what people put up for sale. I learned to read label text as part of my job working in a sneaker store when I was a teenager. And even though people may think that it is an irrelevant part of sneaker collecting, but it's actually one of the most important skills to learn. Because in the size tag in the shoe, you actually can tell not only just the size that you wear, but more importantly, when the shoe was produced and when it was put on shelves for sale. So this actually tells you the longevity of the shoe and the lifeline that it has. I would advise anyone who is just starting to collect sneakers to always buy within your own means. I would also advise them to ensure that they are buying the real thing. Because in this day and age with counterfeit goods being so good, sometimes you are paying full price if not more for something that may not be real. Always wear what you like and not what other people tell you to. To date, I have almost 300 pairs and to be very frank, I won't recommend this to anyone because it's such a pain to take care of. Some necessary skills that all sneakerheads have to have would be how to clean your shoes. Because if you really want to make sure that your investment is worthwhile and it lasts a long time, being able to clean and store your shoes correctly is very important. Collecting sneakers will always make me feel happy no matter what situation I'm in. Just like how everyone should find their bit of happiness in their life, buying shoes and having them in my collection is my happiness. My dream would be to be able to pass on my collection to my descendants in future, be it my own children or my grandchildren. So I will always have a story to tell them and they will know that granddad was a cool guy.